Good afternoon and welcome to Magic Moderna. I, um, I've been thinking for a while about cleaning my engine bay, which is not too bad, the engine bay, to be honest, but I figured, uh, would, I've always sort of thought I wouldn't mind one attempt at it. I'm a bit paranoid about wiring and all that kind of stuff, but um, I think I'm gonna have a go. I've watched a few videos um, and you know, I've had a, I've taken a look at trying to do the right thing. I hope I've done the right thing uh, or I attempt the right stuff. I will, yeah, let me just, and uh, you can see it's not in bad condition. It's in pretty good condition to be honest. Uh, so I hope I'm not gonna mess anything up, but I just thought, yeah, I'll give it a go and see see if it makes a difference. I also thought I'd take the opportunity to put some, you know, some cover up some of the pipes with some sealant, some rubber sealant, and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, let's let's see how we go. So I prepped the engine uh, a little bit. I've just covered some of the electricals. Uh, on that side round there um, I've also sort of done the lights in there to make sure um, I need to actually tidy that up a bit but so yeah I've covered the sort of the main areas I'm, I'm looking at so <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is prep with a bit of Chemical Brothers degreaser and I'm probably going to do half an engine at a time. So I'm probably going to do down this side first and then go from there. Well, I started to do the spraying here and I won't lie, this chemical degreases orange and uh, uh, it felt slightly sacrificial to be spraying it all over the engine bay. And yes, I was pretty nervous, um, but I ploughed on. You see me, uh, you see me pause here and there. But I ploughed on, and you know, I decided the sooner I get this cleaned up and off the engine, the better. So it's time for the water, and uh, again, some apprehension, but I used a pretty gentle spray from the garden hose. I've seen people using jet washers and things like that in the sort of mild setting. I thought this was actually probably the best alternative. Water does actually sort of pile up in different places. It gets caught in uh, around some of the, the caps and uh, a, you know, in between the engine there. So it is important to make sure when you get to drying that you do 
really get in there and take as much of that out as possible. Um, you don't want to leave sort of pools of water. The only other thing I'd say is that when you're spraying, then it does go over the sides of the car. And again, uh, I think it's pretty mild, but it's, it's probably, I, d I didn't fancy leaving it lying, you know, just sat on the sides of the car. So I did wipe that off uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, at this point, I just wanted to get, I used a long brush to try and get underneath. It's actually really difficult and, you know, there are plenty of pipes and things down there. So I was trying to be as gentle as possible. I've got this, the videos on two speed, so it looks like I'm being more aggressive than I am. But yeah, that long brush does help get into certain areas that you might find difficult just manually, especially as you try and, you know, lean over the, the side of the car. Welcome back. I've been uh, busying away and uh, things are still drying a little bit actually. Um, and uh, yeah, Clean, it's cleaning up quite nicely. Um, these side panels, they got stained a while ago and I've got something I want to try on them to try and bring them back to life. But otherwise, what I've, you know, really focused on trying to get the wires clean and some of these areas in there down there, I've tried to, um, you know, really bring those to life because they don't get a lot of love, if I'm honest. And down here, I have to say, it's been weirdly scary doing this. I don't know why. I just feel absolutely paranoid that I'm going to break something or something isn't working. But there you go, it's done. Um, I'm going to wait for the side panels to dry because I've got something that I'm going to try and put on them. Um, some, uh, it's actually rubber seal protector, but uh, it does seem to have a sort of blackening effect. I hope I'm not going to regret that. Uh, welcome to Amateur Hour, the Ferrari Ownership Club. But uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty pleased. Done it. Uh, is it a lot better than it was before? Don't know. It's hard to say. Um, but at least I've concentrated on getting into some of these places down here, and the wires and all that sort of stuff that maybe I wouldn't have. So hopefully that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I'll finish off the last couple of things and then uh, I'll wrap up. Well, thank you for joining uh, this episode of Magic Moderner. I have uh, put the car in the bubble now. Sorry, bad filming. The car's going in the bubble and I'm going to put it on the vent setting. So hopefully take out a little bit of moisture and make sure things are nice and dry. I started it up, small scare, as uh, steam started pouring out from every crevice. I assumed we were just burning off some water, but yeah, always makes you a bit nervous, but all good. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap her up and hopefully get to take her out when the sun's next out. So thank you for joining us. And yeah, any questions about cleaning the engine, let me know. Cheers.